Hello, my name is Jose Ignacio Rodriguez Labra. I'm an undergraduate student at Western Michigan University and I'm working in the Center for Smart Sensors and Structures. Today, I will talk about the development of a PPG sensor array as a wearable device to monitor cardiovascular metrics. Wearable devices with integrated sensors for tracking human vitals are growing in use and complexity. We can use advantages in this domain for sensor fusion systems for health monitoring. For long distance space travel in the future, the proposed PPG sensor array device can be used for continuous vital monitoring of subjects. If key health parameters could be continuously monitored with self-powered reliable systems, diseases and injuries could be handled with higher speed and ease, which could potentially be the key in ensuring safety in space. The system needs to do continuous monitoring using multiple sensors to filter out environment variables, in addition to adding redundancy in sensor place in the local area for enhanced analysis, enabling sensor fusion to increase accuracy. So what is PPG? PPG is short for photoplay seismography. It uses light transmitters and sensors to measure changes in light absorption. From wearable fitness devices to hospitals, use PPG sensors to find cardiovascular metrics in individuals. Why did we choose PPG? PPG sensors are non-invasive, which means no blood samples are needed. Placing the sensor on the skin is all that's needed. Also, optical methods pick up different blood characteristics that are more advantageous than other physiological measuring techniques like electrocardiography. For example, the R ratio can be calculated from a PPG signal to determine the saturated blood oxygen. In addition, there is an abundant amount of research on PPGs that allow us to optimize our analysis algorithms. So our first design is shown. In the center, the main board components are located. This includes the microcontroller, battery power management, I2C bus, inertial measurement unit, and other components. On the extremities, the sensors are set in locations of the foot. This system is all in one piece. The user is meant to place it as a sole is in the shoe and wear the shoe as they normally would while the system is running and collecting data. If the battery runs low on power, a micro USB connection is available for charging. In addition, the battery is easily replaceable. So if the user has an extra battery, they can replace it and continue the wireless transmission. In the second version of the system, we split the board between the main controller and the PPG sensor modules. This allows us to place the sensors in locations other than the plane of the board, for example, the heel or the lower egg. We hope to make these connections from the uh, sensor modules to the board in Captain to reduce size and durability. It is possible to detach the sensors from the board so that if a sensor malfunctions, it is easy to replace it with another. Moving on, on a 500 second experiment on, was performed on one of the max chip PPG sensors. The subject performed multiple breathing cycles involving deep breathing and holding the breath. This is to induce changes in the saturated oxygen of the user. Saturated oxygen is an important parameter in determining the physiological state of the body. On the left hand, the max chip records the PPG signal, and on the right hand, a commercial PPG sensor measures the heart rate and oxygen saturation as a control. During the experiment, the data measured by the PPG is used to compute the predicted heart rate and the R ratio. We can then compare the ratio with the commercial sensor for accuracy. From the zoomed image of the heart rate screen, we can confirm that the heart rate algorithm is accurate. The graph on the left depicts the relationship between the R ratio and the saturated oxygen. By removing the redundant 99% data points, we see there is a linear relationship between the variables. We can see that the, on the, using linear regression, we can find a function that will map the R ratio to the saturated oxygen. On the graph of the right, we can see the derived saturated oxygen closely follows the actual saturated oxygen. This allows us to accurately measure saturated oxygen in our system. So the system we built has the potential to improve healthcare diagnosis and cardiovascular metrics. It's open to many user applications and medical uses. 
the future work to be done is first to use the current rigid PCB and transfer it to, into a flexible PCB to enable more comfort and to the user when we're in the system. Then a NAND flash memory can be implemented in case of the event where the user doesn't want to stream the data. Using the current infrastructure of the system, deep learning modules could be also be embedded into the system to analyze the data inside the board. Thank you very much for watching my presentation to Western Michigan University and to the CAS Laboratory.